in the previous lesson we logged into moodle for the very first time and in this lesson we will become familiar with the interface within moodle and learn how to navigate comfortably within moodle the very first screen after login is this course landing page and what you are seeing here is a completely fresh moodle 3.0 installation if your screen looks different from what you see here it will be because another Moodle administrator would have configured the look and feel differently. And at the end of this lesson and this section, you will become quite comfortable with navigating yourself throughout Moodle. So not to worry if your Moodle looks slightly different. The very first thing that you have to notice and get very familiar with are these rectangular areas called as blocks. These blocks are the most fundamental interface units in the Moodle design. They provide various functionalities which can be highly customized and much of your interactions with Moodle will occur through various blocks. The center area is where you will find the key content of the pages, including the courses and learning contents. Now, let us look at the boxes I have available by default on my Moodle. One of the most important is the navigation block that I have on my left hand side. Then the administration block. On my right hand side, I have various blocks which include the files block, online users, upcoming events, calendar, and a few other utilities. Let us look at the navigation block with some more detail. The first link is the site home or the home page. The icon next to it is a small square which signifies that that item cannot be expanded further and the text is a direct link. However, the next item on the list has a right facing triangle. This is a list that will expand it to show you more links. Again, when you expand it, you will see it has all the links inside. Whenever you expand a list, you will notice that its icon changes to a bottom facing triangle like so. The item My Courses or Courses lists all the courses that you will be teaching or all the courses that you are enrolled into in some capacity. Since this course will focus on administration, we will not be looking into course creation and course management in depth. There is one more of My Courses available for that all of the links can be minimized or docked conveniently using these two small icons on the top of each block let me show this functionality you can minimize like this or you can dock any of them also and they can be restored or closed whenever you hover the mouse over the docked block the links to edit my profile, to access my dashboard, etc. are placed in a very convenient drop down next to the profile picture on the right hand top side of the screen here. I can click on this profile link to edit my profile, change my password, upload a profile picture and other configurations. In the next lesson, this is exactly what we will explore, how to set up our profile. So. I will see you in the next lesson.